Greetings programs. This this is Stella Him and Eggs. Also known as the Breakfast of Champions. Because like you know, obviously. And today we're playing Snow Runner again. I have driven a truck for nineteen years. I don't drive one anymore, but I used to. And this is a truck driving game. So, a truck driver playing a truck driving game. <laughs> what a concept. Alright, so what we're going to do here, folks, is we're going to go into Rift. And we're going to take care of the first contract. Charles Fruhoff, a German-American blacksmith, invented the first tractor trailer back in 1914. Ah, oh, poor baby, because he needed a way to transport his, huh, their modest and saying boat. But if you need a tractor trailer to move your boat, it's a yacht. Okay. Okay, my light's turning on. There we go. All right, so we need to get some wooden planks. I broke the cardinal rule here. Shutting the engine off when you look at the map, because that adds up, man. All right, so we can kind of go through here, go through here. This might be super fun. This is why you shut your engine off, because this could take like two minutes, and you burned eight liters of fuel. That'll be good enough. Let's get her done, then. Yeah, driving is just so relaxing. This game is so peaceful. It's what we need. We don't need another first-person shooter. You know, it's a nice game without any machine guns in it. You know, just just driving around. All you need. You got your tunes. You got a coffee. And you got the open road. America, at least from what I've seen of it, a beautiful country. There is literally nothing like, you know, starting your descent from a mountain like in the Appalachians or wherever. And having that open road and just that, that vista, that mountain vista. My, uh, that was my favorite run for sure. I'd run a steel coil either to or from Pittsburgh to uh, a place called Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Drop that off. Pick up a shipping container because there's a big uh, shipping container uh, place there. And then drive that to Philadelphia or vice versa. And it was a great run. It took me three, four days, usually. So I worked four days on, three days off. It's awesome. The key is you want to, you have to do, kind of pay your dues with long haul at first uh, because most local most local jobs require two years and you know it's an unwritten rule that you should kind of pay your dues at the bottom of the ladder and, uh, some some guys do long haul that's all they do but if you're more of a kind of a family man um, the minimum you should do Long haul is, is two years. That looks pretty good in the rest of it. If you're able to cross the border, I mean, you're looking at more money. If you haul shipping containers or anything that requires you to be bonded, uh, you know, enter bonded yards or that, it's more money. 
hazardous materials, more money. Santa is hauling that uh, crude rough stone gypsum, I believe it's because the full name for it. It's, uh, it's brown when we pick it up because it's wet. They, they purposely soak it so it's not as dangerous. Uh, as you breathe it in long enough, what happens is your lungs will basically develop two tiny little concrete pads because uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but your lungs are actually like pretty moist. They're not bone dry. And uh, you breathe that dust in, it turns into literally miniature concrete pads. And uh, yeah, you end up uh, getting a condition. And you can't obviously cut the concrete pads out of you, so it's, uh, it's uh, you know, terminal. Let me know, I can't remember what that's called. Let me know in the comments if you know what that's called. Because I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. And so you got a you know, mask and glove and Yeah, I was hauling twin belly dumps. Which were awesome. You just pull in, there's a big hole in the floor, press a button, pull a lever, and boom. Twenty-five thousand pounds of gypsum goes by by pull up 10 feet repeat the process with the second trailer and boom those things are an absolute nightmare to back up but you know it is what it is oh this is not really the greatest uh i don't really know how the heck i'm supposed to do this with this unless i can go over here do i have snorkel on this i didn't hit that come on kind of another little truck driver pet peeve I have. I mean, it's, it's nothing. They certainly don't need to change this, but, you know, instead of low plus, low negative, A, H, I should just put it like maybe one, two, three, and then uh, A would change the drive, like D. And then H would be, like, I don't know, overdrive or something. This is really good. Yeah. Another thing that's kind of not good is in real life, I, maybe Europe's different, but... North America, at least. Those little top trailers, those little, those little wagons. The sideboard and the other one. Uh, the front axles on those trailers aren't, don't move in the real life. Back in those little suckers up, man, that's, that's fun. Maybe in Europe they steer, but uh, in North America they don't. I mean, you can buy an automatic tractors nowadays. Uh, apparently, they're a nightmare to work on. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know. Uh, there's kind of an unwritten, not exactly a rivalry, but you know, just a kind of a, a friendly kind of camaraderie, I would say, since we're in Russia, <laughs> where. Uh, Here's a 
a tip. See how this trailer can hold five slots? What you want to do is, then you go over to here and you go remove cargo. Because in real life, that's probably how it would be loaded over the axle, especially if it's in winter. I'm assuming this is like the middle of summer here in Russia. That's why they they sell you like uh, you know air conditioners. I'm uh, not really interested in anything that bogs my engine down. So I'm sorry, but uh, Buddy there is going to have to crack the window down and get eaten alive by black flies. So two wooden planks. That's it. I'm doing it again, aren't I? metal beams. Where are the metal beams? Well, I might as well get them right now. I might as well get them right now too. Can I get two metal beams? I'm assuming they're similar to the metal planks and they got two, two slots. I don't know if this affects anything in the game, but in real life that's what you would, you would do. I mean, because in real life it's the customer, the shipper, and the transporter who are equally responsible for that load. So if, uh, you know, if anything happens, jackknife or an accident, the first thing they do is they, think, they say, okay, how was the thing loaded? Who loaded it? And they breathalyze the shipper, breathalyze the driver. You know? So, yeah, shipping is just as important. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going the right way. I have yeah, these tires are pretty good. 51 inch mudders, huh? Not too shabby. I've only used the winch like a couple times. When I first started playing this game, I lived off the winch. You had to, because you didn't have anything upgraded. And, uh, you know, unlike some of the, you know, the gamers. I actually did all of Michigan before moving on to Alaska. Then I did all of Alaska. Um, see, that sounds like a car horn for sure. Yeah, you have to actually, there should be a button for four way flashers. You have to actually get out and look, uh, and then honk your horn. Yeah, I thought so. Two beams. Okay. So we have to come back for a beam. Okay, guys, this is where we're going to have to leave it for now. And uh, be sure to check uh, part two. See you in a bit.